Hello and welcome to Hobbin 5 Episode 9. I'm Rebecca Platt. H5 is a web series with a new episode each Friday that wraps up the week's key Hobbit production news courtesy of TheWondering.net, all within five minutes time. So without any further delay, the clock is ticking, let's get right to it. This week, we're going to add a couple new features to the show. First, we want to answer your questions, so please add your questions below regarding our show, The Hobbit Production, or TheOneRing.net, and we will do our best to answer the questions with the most upvotes within our next episode. Also, please stay tuned until the end of this episode, and we will tell you about our next fabulous contest. John Howe reports that Smaug the Golden and Eowyn and the Nazgul are available again, the real thing in real bronze with a hardwood base. Some things take a while. Back in 2002, when John was slowly getting his website furbished with images, he wrote, as a caption under the illustration of Eowyn and the Nazgul, this is a painting I would love to see become a sculpture. The whole fell beast would of course have to rest on something, but that's the challenge. At the time, that was wishful thinking and out loud daydreaming. Now, nearly a decade later, it was a question no longer of daydreaming. Smaug the Golden and Eowyn and the Nazgul are available once more. A copy of the booklet that accompanies the statues is available with the kind permission of Weta at johnhow.com. Orlando Bloom, in or out of The Hobbit? We still haven't heard any official news about Orlando's confirmed casting as Legolas, but everyone is waiting for the announcements. We all know that I'm a big fan. I am excited that Orlando Bloom will be back, though. You are. Very excited. But are you? Should he return as Legolas, or is his cameo even necessary? Let us know what you have to say. Orlando Bloom is not female. Please join us on the OneRing.net for the Torn Message Board's weekly roundup. This includes our collection of Torn's hottest topics for the past week. If you've fallen behind on what's happening on the boards, here's a great way to catch the highlights. Or if you're new to Torn and want to enjoy some great conversations, just follow the links to some of our most popular discussions. Watch this space as every weekend we will spotlight the most popular buzz on Torn's message boards. Everyone is welcome, so come join the fun. Salon.com has posted a slideshow featuring a look at the locations that influenced and formed celebrated novelists from Faulkner to Wolf. Of course, Tolkien makes the slideshow with an image and description of Mosley Bog in the West Midlands, England. Follow the link to see them both. Next up in our character studies is Elrond. Elrond was born late in the first age to half-elven parents. In the second age, Elrond lived in Linden with the elven high king Gilgalad, who gave him Vilya, one of the three elven rings. Elrond used the power of Vilya to found a hidden elven refuge called Frivendel. Elrond fought in the War of the Last Alliance at the end of the second age. He participated in the Battle of Daggerlad and subsequently witnessed the fall of Gilgalad and Elendil, the shattering of Narsil, and Sauron's temporary defeat from the loss of the One Ring to Elendil's son, Isildur. Elrond returned to Rivendell after he could not convince Isildur to destroy the ring. In The Hobbit, Elrond gives sanctuary and advice to Bilbo, Gandalf, and the dwarves following their escape from the trolls. He uses his knowledge of runes to name the swords that Thorn and Gandalf obtained from the trolls' lair and to identify them, along with the knife that Bilbo later named Sting as being made in Gondolin by his kin, the High Elves of the West. We assume Hugo Weaving will play the part of Elrond, yet until he is fully secured, we will wait to feature his complete bio. Regarding the contest details, they're pretty simple. This one is for any of you creative artists out there. What we are looking for are graphic images for our backdrop behind me. Do your best to create a new Hobbit 5 backdrop and we'll use it in our next episode. The only requirement is that you use the OneRing.net logo which is available to download in our description below. That's it for this installment of Hobbit and Five. I'm Rebecca Platt and thanks for watching. Stay tuned here each Friday and subscribe so you'll never miss an episode. Until next time.
Follow, 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 follow,